Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today's video I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me and talking about just stuff in general. Just a lot of stuff. Um, so one of the things I really wanted to talk about in this video is um, it's actually how I deal with anxiety. Because I have a lot of anxiety because I live on my own with my boyfriend and with his sister. You know, we have bills we have to pay. We're also, you know, college students. We have a lot of things we have to do. So I really want to talk about dealing with, like, my stress and anxiety, how I deal with it. Because my method might work for someone else, who knows, because I know it's not fun being stressed out, I've been constantly stressed out this week for another reason that I'm not going to mention in this video, I'm probably going to mention it in a few months in a video, once everything has been like handled and taken care of, you know, maybe I'll do another like try to get ready with me and talk about what it was, what happened, why I decided to do what I did, how I worked through it. But for right now, I just want to talk about my anxiety, how I get past it. So one of the things I found personally that works for my anxiety and helping to get rid of my anxiety actually is makeup. Obviously, that's why I started a makeup channel. It's actually just something a lot of fun. I like being able to like just say like, okay. Me without makeup, that's Kira, but once I have makeup on, I can be like this different, confident, like I can just create whoever I want if I wanted to. Like I don't have to be myself. Despite the fact that I literally don't wear makeup every day in my life. I didn't wear makeup yesterday. I was going to film this video yesterday and I didn't. But I literally went to work one day, had no makeup on, and they're like, oh, you're so much prettier without makeup. Which, you know, I do think rocking the inner beauty, that's nice, but for a very long time makeup was the center of my life and now I'm exploring different options of makeup just in general, just life. But yeah, makeup, just doing makeup, maybe looking shopping for makeup, deciding what I want to do next. I really want to do a haul soon, but that's honestly probably not going to happen until after Christmas, to be completely honest. I've been doing a lot of Apple product reviews. I'm really enjoying my iPad mini. I'm just going to put that out there. really like it. If only it was like a good or a, like a better, better, a better version of iOS and stuff like that. I would really be enjoying it. I'm really looking to get an iPad Pro. Um, I'm really thinking of getting like an iPad Pro with obviously the screen protector in the case because I'm an accident waiting to happen. That's one of the things that contributes to my anxiety is knowing I'm an accident waiting to happen. And not to mention I also think I want to get like the Apple Pencil and I'm thinking of getting the Apple, what's it called, the like the smart keyboard, I think so that's what it is, I think that's what it is. I have Apple's like actual app on my iPod so I really like to go to Apple. This is one of my favorite brushes and it's only like a dollar but it sheds like crazy. It's the LA Colors eyeshadow blender. It comes with another like flat top shader brush, but I think this crease brush is gonna be bomb. It's only like a dollar fifty I think for both of them. But they shed like crazy. And I really need to wash my makeup brushes today. So I was hoping that if I forced myself to come film this video in here, that would force me to remember to do my makeup brushes because they they need some help. Another thing that I really like, like for anxiety wise, because I'm not gonna lie, my job gives me a lot of stress and anxiety. I know some of my coworkers follow me on here. Sorry guys, 
it gives me anxiety. It gives me anxiety the fact that my boyfriend works there. It gives me anxiety with, like, you know, bills. A lot of things give me anxiety, but makeup's definitely one of the things that has always helped me throughout the years since I started doing my own makeup being in 2017 when I started doing makeup, when I started to really wanting to learn how to do makeup. Like, really watching YouTube videos, i.e. Castle Lights just things like that, and I really discovered, like, a passion that I ended up having. I'm actually really good at it. I tend to be really good at it. I like to do makeup, especially on my sister, because my sister, well, she's very easy to please when it comes to makeup, but I like to do makeup on her, because if you just do, like, a little bit in the crease like this, and a light pink on the lid, and a little tiny, like, shimmering white highlight, she looks gorgeous. Like, I just don't understand. Like, it just, she just looks so pretty. I actually hung out with her yesterday. She was awesome. And my niece, but... That's another thing for a later video to talk about what we talked about. Just going through some things in life. But, yeah, makeup's definitely one of the big things that has always helped me with my anxiety. Because I do have a temper. I will admit I have a temper. Oh, well. I am part German. Can't help that. But, makeup definitely does help me with my anxiety. And I help some other people who are really into makeup like me. You never know, like, just being able to watch, even watch a video, just watch someone's video, and just get, like, taken out of, like, whatever it is that you're in. Like, just be stress-free for, like, a few minutes by watching their video. It's just, like, that's some time that you're not, like, thinking about something. Because when it's on your mind, that's when you think about it. So if you find something to kind of like distract you, then, you know, you're not going to be stressing about it. The more you think about it, the more you stress. That's what I found. So another thing that I really like, um, I like to play video games. I'm not going to lie, I really like to play video games. Um, I'm really into Saints Row 3. That one's a lot of fun. I haven't played that in a while. I have that one. All four of these games I'm going to name I have on my computer because our Xbox is currently in the living room for whatever reason. I do not know. But it's mostly my boyfriend's Xbox. He kind of plays it more than I do. But I really like Saints Row 3. That was actually the first video game like Xbox-wise that I ever played. And I was really, really into it. I really like like character creation, like developments. I like the fact that you can play as a female, that I like. But I just like that the character has like a voice. Just simple stuff. Like little girl girl things. Basically the typical girl things you think a girl would like in a game is probably the reason I like it. But another game, not surprising, I really like Saints Row 4. That one, I got that, like, when it came out. Like, I was, like, on the list. I was getting that. Funny story short, I actually got that game. <laughs> it freaking didn't work. Like, it was brand new, and it never worked. It made me so sad. So, when the opportunity arose to get a new one, we just ended up getting a new one. Because that thing broke our Xbox. Like, we had to send it to Microsoft or wherever. Like, my mom had to call someplace, and we had to send it off. Because <laughs> it killed it. That game literally killed it. Like, it would, one, take forever to load. Gosh, I really want to play some Saints Row right now. I'm off today, and so is my boyfriend. And he just cleaned the kitchen, and he makes me very happy when he does things that I don't have to tell him to do. So we're just relaxing. And I really wanted to film this video, so I'm in here filming a video. 
Uh, another game that I really like, not surprising, is Skyrim. Brandon likes Skyrim too, but he likes the Oblivion one better. I don't play Oblivion, just because I don't have it on my computer. He has it on his computer, and he has it on his Xbox. Pretty much all these games that we'll list, except for the next one that I listed, pretty much these three past games I listed, we have on both of our computers and on our Xboxes. Xboxes. We only have one Xbox. No, we have two. That's... I'm stupid. We have two. I don't know where the other one is, but we have two Xboxes somewhere. But anyways, I really like to play Skyrim. Skyrim's a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. Although, I choose, I would choose like Saints Row over Skyrim because of the guns, but Skyrim's a lot of fun. I just think that they really limited themselves with the like amount of weapons, like the type of weapons you can have, because I like using like unique weapons. So I really think they limited, it does the limited themselves, video game wise, because of that, but it's still a lot of fun. I've really been enjoying the Forgotten City mod on Skyrim. I really enjoy the Naruto Jutsu mod. That's a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie, I just like Amaterasu and shouting people in that game. Like, it's just a lot of fun to watch things burn. Because I'm a giant fan of Naruto. My boyfriend is a giant fan of Naruto. So, of course, something that we like to play, putting Naruto in it, that's going to be a lot of fun. I really like the unofficial patch. That really, really does help make it more, like, lore friendly. Like, if you were looking for to play Skyrim, I would definitely not recommend playing it without that mod. We use the Steam Workshop. Brandon uses, like, everything. But I just use the Steam Workshop because my computer is old. It has taken so many tumbles off of the bed. I know the reason why I get stressed out. I'm going to need to replace it soon. I'm looking at a MacBook to replace it. But that's another good one. I really like the Project AHO mod. That's a lot of fun. They did a lot of like I don't know, like a lot of work for one little area, but they really made it like customized, but like fit into the lore. So they did a really good job with that. But I really like playing Skyrim. Skyrim's probably the only game I cheat to like no avail, because I will just use God mode. I think I've actually mentioned that before in another video, but I'm not sure. My boyfriend hates it, but I do it because it's a lot of fun to just go around and murder giants at level 1. Right when you get out of hell then, it's a lot of fun. And I don't use any ultimate starts. My boyfriend does, I don't. He also likes playing as a vampire, and I don't understand why. He's so weird. But, that's another thing that I like, I like to do for anxiety, just to get my anxiety off. Like, that really, like, puts, like, it's the same thing as, like, with the makeup. Takes you out of your body and puts you in a different world. Like, makes you think, like, something different. I think I'm going to play some Scott, or some things that I want to get off. Um, done with this video. This is a really good concealer, by the way. The Revlon Photo Ready Candid Antioxidant Concealer. It's just, like, if it was just, like, had more shades, I think. Because this definitely, for me, competes with the, my e.l.f. HD concealer thing, my L'Oreal one, and I think it's my NYX one also that it competes with. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the next video, like, going through my makeup collection and show you guys all that I have. That's going to take a while. That's going to be a series, a full series. I think I'm going to do that. I think that's going to be my a goal. I think I'm going to make that into a goal. But anyways, yeah, and so the last game, because there were four games that I really like to play, aside from Saints Row 3, 4, and Skyrim, is The Sims. The Sims 3. I don't have The Sims 4. I want to get The Sims 4, but I really want to get all the expanded packs of The Sims 3 before I get The Sims 4. So, The Sims 3... We actually got on the Steam, like, it was like their discounted sale thing, so we got it for like five bucks. So, 
So the only expansion packs that we have is The Sims 3, we have Pets, we have Supernatural, and we have Seasons. Of course we have Pets because creating people makes me want to make them want to live my perfect life, of course. I can't be around animals because I have a deathly allergic reaction to animals, so of course I'm going to have my Sims have animals. So I actually have a lot of games on the Sims. I know my sponge needs cleaning. I'm going to just put it right there because I need to clean that desperately. So I have a lot of games on the Sims, but, well, three actually. Three actually, but... So, gosh darn it! I don't know. And it doesn't help that one thing falls over and everything falls over. It makes me so sad. But anyways, um... So, my first family, um... They actually got abducted by aliens, so they have an alien baby. I only play in Sunset Valley, by the way, because I just don't like any other game like area. So they live in Sunset Valley and they have an alien baby and they have a ba baby of their own. They have a boy and a girl. I did cheat with that. I did um <laughs> I did cheat with that. I did make sure it was a girl because when it was first, the baby was first born it was a boy and I was so sad. Because I wanted a boy and a girl. Because for some reason I don't get lucky in my Sims games and get baby girls. But anyways, they have an alien baby girl, and they have their own baby boy. They're just babies. They haven't aged up yet. They're just babies. And I made the man, the daddy, he is a superstar athlete. He is has reached his top career, so they have, like, the level 10 career tracker thing. He, yeah, he's at the top. Actually, my first two families are at the top. I just started my third family, and I'm going to make them get to the top. And the mom of the family, of my first family, is, I lost my story. She is the world-renowned surgeon, so she's a doctor. My second family, so, I actually started them getting married, but I made him, because I actually kind of based him, like, personality-wise a little bit after my boyfriend, aside, like, well, not personality-wise, like, Somewhat personality wise, I'd say, because he gets his love, like, the character gets his love of from my boyfriend, because my boyfriend likes cooking, and I base, like, his looks off of my boyfriend. But the character, well, I think it's named after my boyfriend, but aside from that, the character itself, he is very flirty, so he ended up cheating on her, so she cheated on him, because I kind of just let them leave them to their devices, like, on their little options thing. It's like, choose like what you want for their will, and I have like very high free will or something like that. So they pretty much do whatever they want. But she cheated on him, broke up a few marriages. He broke up a few marriages too, in the beginning. But anyway, she cheated on him, got married to somebody else, and now she has four kids with that person, but then. They kind of divorced, and then she got back with the guy I originally started the game with. They don't have any alien babies. He keeps finding, like, I have a little telescope, and he keeps finding meteors. So, like, their entire front yard is just, like, covered in meteors. But they don't have any alien babies, but they do have four babies that they're raising. And she is the like power broker or whatever for the business career so she reached her highest track in the business career and he is a celebrity five star chef he reached the highest career level in his which was culinary arts and he's actually my only character I have that actually knows every single recipe like every recipe And he only works like three days a week and makes like four hundred dollars an hour and he literally works like four hours a day. That would totally be my boyfriend's preferred job.
And my third family I have, so this is where the supernatural part kicks in. Oh, I forgot to mention. My first family is just humans. My second family is a human and a fairy. But my third family is a vampire and a werewolf. And they have a baby. And they have a farm. Like, they have a giant farm. I just started playing on this family today. But they have a baby. It's just a baby. My second family has a toddler and three babies. Okay, I'm getting lightheaded for a reason I'm going to talk about in a different video. Just because I don't want it to be in this video because it's a little early to talk about. But anyways, just know when that video comes out, whoever watched this is going to be like, oh, that makes sense now. That's why she was getting lightheaded. But anyways, my third family, she is a vampire, he is a werewolf. He is in the military career. She is in the political career. They have a farm. They have like a horse, two dogs, and a cat, and a baby. And the baby, it shows supernatural for the baby, but I don't really know which one he is yet. I don't know if he's going to be a werewolf or a vampire. He really could be either or. It shows like it shows supernatural. So like you know he's gonna be a supernatural because he doesn't have human in his bloodline or in his homology. So you know he's gonna be supernatural. He's either gonna be a werewolf or a vampire. So yeah, that's another way I like to kind of get rid of my anxiety. That's playing video games on my computer. On the Xbox we have those games except for the Sims 3. We don't have that because Sims 3 was dirt cheap on Steam. Couldn't say no. So we got it on Steam. But um, basically another way, or more games basically that we have for Xbox. We have Fable 3. I like playing Fable 3. That was a lot of fun. My boyfriend actually went out of his way to hook up Fable 3 for me. So we could play it in the living room together. It was so much fun. He's so, he's so sweet sometimes. So another like game I like to play. Hmm. I like to play Saints Row 2. I just don't have it on like my computer. But I don't know. I like to play games with their DLCs. I don't know why. I just do. So Skyrim is the only game I mod the shit out of, by the way. That's the only game. I don't mod The Sims. I don't mod Saints Row. I think I'm going to play a little bit of Saints Row when I get done. I really want to make my boyfriend get back into his, like, YouTubing. Because my boyfriend used to do YouTube for video games. Because it's actually very, very, like, it really does help with the stress. Another thing, um, Brandon and I actually have been watching The Walking Dead. We are on season five. We are on season five. We just watched two episodes today. I don't want to do any spoilers, but I seriously doubt anybody is still on season five who hasn't already seen it. Just because I didn't watch The Walking Dead the way my boyfriend did, but now I'm kind of all into it. But we are on the far with Glenn, Maggie, and Eugene's group where they just found out that Eugene was lying. I could have told them that because I said he was lying in the beginning. Which, I have just really good intuition, especially when it comes to TV shows. 
And my boyfriend makes me like makes it seem like oh you spoiled it for yourself. When in reality, no, I just have really good intuition. I really like watching like obviously makeup videos. I like watching like video games, Sims. I've really been into Pokemon. I really want to get into playing Pokemon with my boyfriend. And for people that don't know, I actually use my boyfriend's like gamer tag online. I use his gamer tag. Because that's just what I do. I just copy my boyfriend. Um, I've been watching... Let me see if I can find it. I've been on my brother's YouTube. I was on mine because I was watching a makeup tutorial by Roxanne Risa. I believe it's like Omega Ruby. No, it's Alpha Sapphire. It's Alpha Sapphire. That's what I've been watching on my brother's account. You won't hear it, I promise. Y'all won't hear it. But that's the one I'm on. So I'm technically on the third gen, but. Yeah, I remember when Alpha, or not Alpha, when Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald originally came out. Like, my brother had raised his team to be, like, the best, and I would take it to school all the time to play, like, with our friends, like, because we would have, like, in third grade, like, bring your game to school day. And, like, we would all play Pokemon. And I would just kick everybody's ass, and that just made me feel so amazing, because my brother, like, had every single Pokemon at level 100 somehow because he just like did nothing but play that game. Cause I remember being a very freaking lucky because he could not catch the Latios or Latios. I can't remember which one it was, but he could not catch that legendary Pokemon, and I freaking caught it. And I didn't use a Master Ball, and I was so proud of myself. I just literally like any time it would show up, we would just throw the ball at it. And if you didn't catch it, better luck next time. That's literally all we did. <laughs> but I finally caught it like one day on the way to school and I showed my brothers and my brother was literally like, you're just doing the thing right now. I remember that. That was so funny. I think I'm going to do a review of a website next time I do a video because I purchased from Shoe Dazzle, just a spoiler, I purchased from Shoe Dazzle and I really want to show off these boots because I love them so much, I wear them every day now. But I really want to do a review of that. I might do that in my next video. I don't know just yet. I just realized I didn't even powder. Kira, where are you at today? Where's your head at? Well, we're just going to do that now. There are so many videos I really want to do. But I really wanted to get this anxiety video out just because I can't be the only one who suffers from anxiety. I know that. And some things that work for me might work for other people. See, I have a serious headache right now and I can't like do anything about it.
don't think I feel very well. I really don't. I really don't feel very well. I'm not going to lie. It could be better. I, for some reason, just know I'm not going to clean these brushes today. Despite really needing to. Like, I really need to. I've been putting it off for so long. They're so dirty. They're so caked on with just dirt. I've never seen my brushes this bad. Like, I've never seen my brushes this bad. But I've been lazy. I just think that, like, even a good book, like, even a good book could really help you out with anxiety, just in anxious wise. Um, I'm all about Apple everything. I'm not about Apple books. I'm sorry. I'm not about the iBooks. I'm not about that app. Like, literally, an ebook is literally $10. You might as well just go buy it off of a fucking, like, actual thing. Like, you might as well just go buy the actual thing. I'm sorry, but I feel like, especially if it's an old book, because I look at Twilight, literally with $10, I was literally like, I could probably go to a yard sale and get it for a quarter. Like, what? I mean, yeah, that might be a good deal, like, elsewhere, but, like, no, I'm just not, no. Apple, like, products, I feel, are so so expensive. And I'm still trying to get that 2G to work. I'm still trying. I think I'm going to have to like actually like jailbreak it and unlock it through like the red snow. I think that that's the only way I'm going to get it to work. Not to mention, I'm really excited to finish my Christmas shopping tomorrow. That I'm really excited. Well, tomorrow and Tuesday. That I'm really excited about. I'm really excited to do that. This video has been going on for 30 minutes. It's about to be wrapped up. Sorry, guys. I just ended up having a giant headache and was rambling for a little bit. And I really want to make an announcement in this video that I can't make. I'm going to have to actually, like, wait to do the announcement in another video later on. I'm really excited about it. I have to wait. I have to wait. So let me just poison myself with setting this part. <laughs> that was bad. All right, you guys. So this is the look I created today. Yeah, it was still in the air. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Tell me how I can improve. Tell me what kind of videos you want to see next. Like and subscribe if you're not already. Really, please subscribe. It would really make my day if I see new subscribers on my channel. Thank you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.